Here are three ways to improve your audio in Premiere Pro. Number one, auto ducking. This is when the level of your music will automatically mix itself to your dialogue, meaning that when you're talking, the music will be at a low volume, and the moment you stop talking, it will turn its volume up like this. And notice when I start talking again, the music turned down. If you wanna learn how to do it, let me show you how. On the timeline in Premiere Pro, highlight all your dialogue clips. Go to the Essential Sound window, and under the Edit tab, assign the Dialogue tag. Highlight your music clip. Go to the Essential Sound window, and assign a music tag. Turn on the ducking feature, make sure you're ducking against your dialogue, and hit Generate Keyframes. As you can see, the level of our music is now automated to follow the volume of our dialogue. To tweak the settings, you can adjust the sensitivity, duck amount, and fade. Next time you go to mix the music of your videos, give it a shot. And speaking of mixing music, another creative way to do that is with a low pass filter. Here's an example of using a low pass filter sweep as the person jumps into the water. The effect we're going for is this kind of muffled underwater sound. If you're wondering, a low pass filter allows you to hear all of the frequencies below a specific cutoff point. Hence the name low pass. It allows low frequencies to pass and it filters out everything above that cutoff point. In the effects panel, look up low pass. Drag it onto your music. Move the playhead to where you want the low pass sweep to start. Highlight the clip. Toggle animation on for cutoff and set it as high as it will go. Then move the playhead to where you want the audio sweep to stop and maintain that low muffled sound. I'll hit this down arrow so you can see what's gonna happen. Lower the cutoff point to something like 500 hertz. You could go higher or lower depending on personal taste, but I just find 500 hertz to be that sweet spot for this effect. Move the playhead to where you wanna start sweeping all of the frequencies back in and create a keyframe. Move the playhead once more to where you want the sweep up to stop and raise your cutoff as high as possible. Our result is this. It's also worth noting that you don't have to use this effect exclusively on water clips. In fact, you're listening to that same effect on the background music right now during a talking head. Just gives you a couple options creatively when you go to mix your music in your next video. And for our third tip, noise reduction. This is an extreme example where I'm standing directly below my fan in the bathroom. Can noise reduction make this sound better? As you can see, and here, we have a pretty high level of fan noise. Let me show you how easy it is to apply noise reduction to your audio clips in Premiere. Highlight the clip, and like before, go to the Essential Sound window, under the Edit tab, and assign the Dialog tag. Under Repair, turn on Reduce Noise. This is an extreme example where I'm standing directly below my fan in the bathroom. There are many parameters you can tweak to repair the audio here. Depending on your situation, use them accordingly. For me, I try and adjust them to a point where they're helping a little bit, because if you overdo it with any of these parameters, you can make it sound like your audio is coming out of a tin can, like this. This is an extreme example where I'm standing directly below my fan. This is an extreme example where I'm standing directly below my fan. This is an extreme example where I'm standing directly below my fan in the bathroom. Can noise reduction make this sound better? I think the light noise reduction definitely helps in this situation. And I'm also happy that it's really quick and simple to apply an effect like this in Premiere Pro. If these tips were helpful, don't forget to leave that thumbs up. My name's Javier Mercedes, and if you're looking for more video editing tips and tricks, well, there's a bunch here on the Adobe Video and Motion channel. Until next time, I'll see you later. Bye.